I think a lot of you have been waiting for this one. This is the Enterprise D Blueprints. Hi guys, Retro Trek Ralph here with another Blueprints show and tell, whatever. This, most of the Blueprints have been either fantasy or kind of disjointed universe and, and rubbed over by canon over the decades. This is Rick Sternbach version of that, but it is also the full bl Blueprints of the Enterprise D, and that's why it comes in this huge box. Right, the thing with my box, Pawn away, right? Is, is obviously these are ball bought second hand nowadays. Is everything's there? I'm missing a, a it's another cardboard thing like that, which is missing from here. I can make one, I'm sure I can, just need to get some cardboard. So, the thing with it is, there are a lot of blueprints in here, a heck of a lot of blueprints in here. So much so, I'm on screen four, according to that. So yeah, let me get these in order and see what's what, Ooh. and we'll start this. Right, there are a few blueprints here, a heck of a lot. Is it 13 pages? I think there might be. Yes, so we come with a Deep Space Nine, oh, available now, order today. It's a, um, is it the poster? Yeah, it's the poster you could send off for Deep Space Nine poster and CC1701 poster. Yes, touch it, click on. I have lots of different Star Trek games big boxed. I need to go through this quick because this is going to be a, a long video and anybody expecting this to be quite short I do apologize. This is by Rick Sternbach with Todd, Gunther, Janie, L. Rogers and Dan Guther. Sorry for pronouncing the name wrong. Forwarded by Job Bob Justman. I'm not going through all of this. This is I'm not entirely sure whether or not they reprinted this for the Eagle Moss stuff. At present, Eagle Moss are no longer. I'm sure a little tiny channel like mine has no problem with any copyright infringement on showing off some amazing content that comes with Star Trek. And Rick Steinbeck, uh, he, he, he's an absolutely amazing person. So. That's all that out of the way. So yeah, the problem with this is this is not the full size. I don't know how to show this to you. All right, okay. So we have the um, standard over the top view of the Enterprise D, screen one. This is just, see the arboretums on the back of here. When was this actually printed? Let me have a look on the back, the box. It doesn't show, 996. So this is after the series finished. So that finished in 87 to 94 when the first film came out. But yeah, this is, this is what we were missing with the Eagle Moss stuff. The amount of level of detail on this, and this is proper detail. You've even got the shuttle, um, the escape pods actually perfect on this as well. I think what we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to split these in two like that. So we have a rip on the page one. Captain's quarters at the front. That was a captain quarters with all the big windows in the front. Okay. Lieutenant Worf's. Why is Worf over here? Crusher's quarters are over here. So Data's is. Data's is over here. Okay. The Forge. Why are all there? Troy's. Riker's. Why have they got small? That's weird. Okay, so you've got Shuttle Bay 2, main Shuttle Bay is on the back of here, main Shuttle Bay, Shuttle Bay 3. There's more like, I think there was more like a cargo bay, that one, wasn't it? We did see that one quite a lot, because it was a smaller set and it was easier to film, unfortunately. The main Shuttle Bay to see, and I'm hoping there is one of them in here. I'm actually looking on here for, oh, they're both single-sided. doesn't say what these parts are, probably vents. Deuterium purge vents, approach guidance system. Oh, yes, okay. Arboretum, yes, on the back. The Eagle Moss model didn't bother making that blue. We always saw it as blue. So, yes. So this is gonna be awkward to film for you. And I do apologize if I did a different setup where it was, I was a lot further away and so be it. This is the underside. 
So we have Captain's Yacht, which we do show there, which we never, ever, ever saw that, the Callisto, or Calypso, Calypso. Oh. Was it Callisto? No, it's Calypso. Saucer Deflector Array, what? Okay. Some of these little bits on here were missing from some, some models from the AMT, and you could get them actually fitted properly. These are all transporter dish, um, no, transporter emitters sort of thing. 10 forward was on the underside of the ship, which is quite strange because it was never put on here as a, a, a thing on the original model. And they kind of developed in on Series 2, and the windows, I didn't think the windows lined up with that on the actual model to the actual set. Lower sensor platform. So the sensor platforms all across here was the original Enterprise with a dome on the bottom and the top of the, the ship for sensor platforms. There's also a ring right around the edge anyway for sensors. So you're overcompensating for sensors anyway. Lateral phaser array, well around there. Amazing how they fired these things. Yes. Then we have the engineering section. Main deflector on the front. Docking alignment lights. Mm -hmm. Oh, there, sorry, three there, three there. RCS thrusters. Separation plane. Warning graphics. Okay, so it's just the graphics then. Transporter emitters, like I say. Lateral phasers. You can see all of this by just, just pausing if you like. Tractor beam was on the bottom, remember that? Because it was a tiny little piece of plastic you got with the AMT model, and it's always vanished, same as the worst bit was actually on the first bit was the dome over the bridge. Always lost that, it was clear, but you could never ever get... Oh no, this is going to be an awkward one. You could never ever keep it. So, <laughs> am I supposed to film this? Let's do the whole lot in one go. Come on. We're on page three, we've got 13 to get through. So we have the full Massive! Look at these pictures; are amazing. These won't go. These needs to go in frames. These are amazing. Front, back, and side view. And no side views down here. We'll come to that in a second. Main bridge. Ten forwards, right. Underneath. Just say over here on the bottom one. Ten forward at the bottom corner. Lateral, lateral phaser arrays. Dorsal phaser array. Warp engine. Deuterium tanks are down here. Defensive sh uh, sh yeah, shield. I mean, I do like the look of this. I mean, this is this is the thing with it all. Is yeah, I do know quite a few things about all these ships, but it's looking at these the first time myself. Let alone you guys looking at this with, with me, me showing you. These are absolutely amazing. This Enterprise on the side of there. Yeah. It, was, it is a shame that so far the Enterprise D is not completed by Eagle Moss. There is... we've just got to wait. I'd, I'd like to do another video on, on that, but unfortunately there's not much news. No news is, is unfortunately no good. It's not good. So we'll wait and see. So we'll just carry on showing you this lovely box set anyway. So we have the left-hand side, the locator, decks one and two. It is actually showing other things, actually. Why is it showing one and two? What? Nope. There's a bridge. Right, so it's showing the side view of everything, showing all the pods, all the reaction, impulse engine reactors. Consumable transfer conduits? Okay, then. Battle bridge right in there. With the main bridge, deck one. Ah, deck two will be over here. So this is the first part, this is the main bridge we all saw. Now the conference lounge behind, access, head. You know, have you ever thought there was a toilet on the Enterprise? There is, they call it the head. So if you come off off to here, where Worf usually stands, or Tasha from first series, over here, and you could go up to this corridor to get to the conference lounge, there is a head. There's a ramp down to the lower bit. I don't really think we saw that. Tackle station, science station, antimatter pods. Let's go to the other section here. That's deck two. This is the, the part, lower section, bridge module ejection systems. Okay, you can eject the bridge. Main computer core. Okay, turbo lift stop. That's weird. 
Very weird. See, that goes to you as well about the, on here as well, the Captain's yacht. He had this, this looks like a deflector, like a sensor array underneath it, but domed on top. We never saw that, but the model actually, the MT model actually did do that. So it looked kind of, it had to be that shape to, to fit in to be secured better. But unbeknown to, to anybody, it was actually the captain's yacht that, that was in there. Could have put a piece of metal in there and a magnet inside the model and it would be able to disconnect it and off you go. Main shuttle bay. C, right. The main shuttle bay comes in the back of here and it doesn't only just go to the side here to the middle. It actually goes all the way around to the to side, on either side. There's an absolutely massive, massive part that they never used. And it's sad, really. Deck 2, officer's lounge and environmental systems. Emergency lockers, Lieutenant Data's, yeah, because he could get straight up crew. Right, OK, so they've got three of the main bridge crew, with quarters they were, so they could get straight in. They were, yeah, LaForge was obviously the chief engineer. Data was second in command. Well, third in command, to be honest, but it was number two or number three. Yeah. And Wharf there, main security. Section plane Y through Z. Okay. So is that Y, Z, slap bang in the middle? We'll find out in page five. Yes, the, the stuff like this. This is just really, really good to collect. I would definitely recommend anybody getting a set of this. Right, so that's the side there. So we're back onto this way around again. This is decks three to five. So again, lower parts around here. Flight crew lounge. Right, so the crew lounge will be there. This, I think, underneath here is the shuttle bay, is it not? Yes. This is the top, highest up section of the shuttle bay. Because that is the main shuttle bay. You see how big we can see that this is? It comes in here, and you've got shuttle bay, shuttle, shuttle, all these bits. If you get the stage, stage nine game for the PC, it is out there to find. CBS stopped them releasing it. It was never for profit. You could never buy it. You just download it for free, and you walk around most of the ship. Some big areas like this that we can see on here on the blueprints were absolutely immense, the way that they put them in. Because this part is on top of here, so it stacks up further up. It's only shown there's one type of shuttle and these smaller, maybe little work bee sort of things. So the work bees are more of a rounded front on the actual Enterprise D. Actually, what I want to find is where are the dolphins? I am going to find them. Where's the station observation? It will be definitely on here somewhere. He's trying to find the little things that there'll be a problem with. Basically, it'll be a big area with fish. <laughs> I know. Crew quarters, primary, VIP guest lounge, space, turbo lift. It, it, it's endless. Lower shuttle maintenance. So this is below the main shuttle base. It goes down for three decks. Absolutely immense. No cetacean observations on here somewhere. He's just trying to find them. Is the problem. Right, it's number six. This goes on and on and on. Right, so we have deck six and seven. Find the fish. We've got to find the fish. And that's that. I would say that it should have showing on here. And if I don't find it, I will sit down and I will look for them on every deck and I will put that right at the very end of the video after uh, my, my, the end titles and the Patreon's names. <coughs> Excuse me. So a crew lounge over here. What a wasted deck space, maybe. This is just corridor, walkway. Maybe nothing way. Deck seven. Crew quarters. Environmental systems. See, if you can see the fish, scream at the television as soon as you find them. Yeah, is it just, it's, it's immense the size of the Enterprise D. They actually made something diagrammed this much. It is quite, it's quite odd. 
all these rooms. You could you could probably figure out what these rooms were anyway. I mean, what you got in here? You got two, and then you got a table, four things. Maybe it's a a family room or something. And that's a transporter room. With a torpedo launcher? Nope. Don't know. You could probably easily figure this out what they are if you looked hard enough for it. So we have now decks eight and nine. There's deck eight for you. Yeah. Big open gap there, that's quite weird. So why is that like that? Unless it's a, de a deck below that you come down to from the one above. I'd have to you'd have to compare everything on these for what's above, what's below. So there's another section over here as well, and here. Hmm. That's very strange. I mean, a lot of them just standard crew quarters, smaller ones, very smaller ones. Is that? No, that's not 10 forward, that's, that'd be 8 forward if it was. <laughs> ah, hold on a minute, what's in the back of here? These are the battle bridge sections. So now you're coming down below the saucer to get to where the back, battle bridge section is coming in, the rear phaser banks on the back of the ship. So we're still halfway through, this is deck 9. Hmm. See again, you've got spaces there for something. It's just deck after. It, it's, it was meant for families, yes. But then Starfleet was always meant to be exploration. Not shouldn't really be carrying families. There should be more of a. You know, possibly, it, it could take your family with you if you're an officer. But um, yeah, Captain Picard quarters was at the front of the ship right there on deck eight. Impulse engines, read the ciphers for the saucer only. Hmm. Stellar cartography, ah, okay. Because that was put in for the Generations film. Okay, cool. <sighs> See, we're already about 15 minutes into this video already, I'm guessing. And we're on number eight, halfway, I think. Right, so that's deck 10. So, deck 10 forward is, is off the screen over there. I'm just trying to look. If there's anything else you can. It's a second deck for the. Yeah, stellar, autog stellar cartography. Why is events coming through then? That's holodeck. Oh, okay. So you've got the holodeck floor there. So that's why there's a bit above it then, without anything on there. That is holodeck high bay. Okay. So normal holodecks and extra bits. Hmm. And very life sciences down here. I mean, these could be labs. Okay, so that's 10. 10 forward, obviously, over here anyway. Ganner's bar, some tables, a few windows. Cool. Gymnastics bay, these would be more for the hologram, the holodecks. And it's coming down the neck now as well, with it being deck 11. Wondering why. There must be more higher rooms that they never used. Banquet and conferencing? Is that it? <laughs> Please come to our banqueting suite on deck 11. Hmm. Surely could have something as big as that and go a little bit silly. Go to town on it. So. Cool. So, page nine. Well, we're definitely coming down the ship now quite quickly. So we have deck 12. So that was 10 and 11. Still more gaps on there. Banqueting suite, turbo lift network, isolinear rooms. Yeah. We also have the shuttle bay on there as well. So we've got loads and loads of space. It's obviously going to narrow in because the bottom end of the dish is coming down. I'd be surprised if there isn't maybe one more deck than this. And this is the back of the where the latching parts are for the source of separation. And then coming down the neck here. 
let's have a look. That is shuttle bay three, shuttle bay two. So that was bigger, but they had this it's a bigger door on that one, but they had like a private why is that private? I'm gonna put a shuttle in there unless it's just for maintenance. Hmm, possibly. Ah, two more decks. Deck 14. And we've found cetacean observation. There, 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 there. <laughs> yes, yeah, cetacean ops over here so they could command the, the part of the ship. Okay, probably, I don't know, cetacean navigation. <sighs> cool, so you've got ops, ops and navigation for them. I mean, yeah, we had the, um, with, with the Enterprise um, series, but yeah, it was, this was after this lot was canon. When the Enterprise series had the, um, bit of a time here for series three with the, the aquatics. Yeah, the aquatic species. And yeah, they need something like this, but it's quite a big area. I mean, these could even link to them to be more of a massive area for them. I don't know. Internal cargo elevators. Oh, okay, they're really quite big then. And that would be the Fortin Torpedo Launcher on the front. What's that on the side? Is that a, a secondary one, just in case? Storage magazines. Computer data trunk. Okay, so that would be the core. These are the computer cores, are they? Don't know. Wet dry access lock. So you had to get into. Yeah, from there to get into here, I think a branch underneath of those two, and this one here, same over here. Cool. It is quite weird how the, yeah, incorporated dolphins and whales and any sort of, yeah, sentient marine mammals. I'm trying to get the words out here. Into the actual Star Trek canon. It's ridiculously good. So deck 15 to 25. So we're going quite a long way down now. So 15, we've got the bottom side of the ship and it would be on level with, not attached to, that's where you've got your gap here, but you would have it almost there anyway. It's coming down the deck. So it's just this right little bottom here. Deck 16 has got the captain's yacht and launch in there anyway. Lifeboat. Look over here, deck 18. The 16, what's on 17 then? That's the problem with going that, that way. Captain's yacht. Okay, that's quite a big captain's yacht, don't you think? Hmm, so that is massively huge. Thought it was tiny, but it isn't. Deck 17, this is coming on the front of the ship here, coming around to the back. I need to go back into the page, deck 18. I'm gonna go for these four first. Deck 18, so it comes down the next section and widens out. 18, 19, 22, 23, main minimum pulses. Okay, so just mainly just pulse spine conduits. Main impulse, engine nozzle. So that was the main engine at the back of the ship on the back of the neck. Coming back to 20, 24, 21, 25. Foot and torpedo launcher at the back. So again, for the aft torpedoes, Jeffrey's tubes everywhere. These are absolutely amazing. I mean, I could never put these on the wall because it's too many of them, far too many. I mean, where the hell, you'd have to wallpaper a wall with them, the entire room and just, just show them all off. <sighs> so we have deck 26, the internal Jeffries tube. We've just started to come onto this section here, the top of the secondary hull. 27, we've got deuterium tanks. Deuterium cryo um, tankage, tankage baffles. Okay, I've got the gaps between. Yeah, insulated turbo lift pass through. Ah, okay. So if you want to go lower down, you go through the deuterium tanks. Ooh, scary. We'll jump a couple of decks, but we'll come back to them. Twenty nine deuterium tank again. Engineering support on thirty. And then engineering support again thirty two. EPS nodes corridors. Future expansion. Hmm. Okay, so possible upgrades. That's probably the reason why they had all the spaces everywhere. Let's go around the navigation deflector. Let's get over this side. Back to 28. I'm trying to see if I can find engineering. The future expansion right at the front of the ship. Computer power monitoring. 
Sell a cartography again. Crew quarters. Yeah, there'll be everything everywhere. I mean, I kind of think that the future expansion, future power supply expansion, is basically, we didn't know what to put in there. It's too big, stop faffing, and for God's sake, we've done enough for you already. But this is just amazing. Absolutely stunningly amazing that they did just do this sort of detail. Oh no, we're on 12. Two more to go. We're nearly there. And like I said, this is a mammoth. Mammoth one. Sorry about that. Hit the camera. Decks 34 to 38. So computer core, port only. Well done, got it right way around. Port only starboard. Because that's the back, that's the front. That's the bottom and the torpedo launcher. Hello, it's launcher gas generator. What? That's weird. Deflector signal, more cabins, probably more labs. Let's go down to 36. Computer core, cooling. It, it's ridiculously over the top, this lot. Absolutely silly. Chief engineer's office. So if that's Geordie's office, then that must be main engineering down here, the warp core. Yes, this is main engineering. Yeah, main engineering right there. So he's on deck 36. We'd be new with that anyway. But pounds, I thought that they would probably go straight up, not branch off and down. Unless they can come down here, accelerate or amplify going across there, I don't know. Then just gently curve up to the nacelles and then off we go. Or other way around. Okay, so what's 37? I well, 37 is still the back end of the ship anyway. 35, 37 and 38. So... Got Jeffrey's cubes, cubes, tubes, consumables. After have torpedo launch you now, okay. Uh, temporary cryogenic storage, okay. We never had that. Defense shields, main deflectors, future expansion again on the front of the ship. Aid stations, future laboratory expansion, yeah. There is this, this massive high cargo bays as well. So, cargo bay top and tops on there. Cool. Nearly done. We're nearly, nearly there. Ventral phaser array, because this is the one that actually goes underneath the bottom of this secondary hull. So they're actually powered from up here. A bit there as well. They went to nearly the top though, were they? No, because they're probably powered and goes straight down. Although, it doesn't show there. Hmm. Page 13. If you've, if you've lasted this long, thank you. <sighs> right, deck 39. I'm going to go duh, 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 and we'll get these sorted out. So, ah, there's a key there as well. Right at the bottom of the ship, deck 39, we've got contingency crew accommodations. So if anything really goes wrong, turbo lifts stop, lifeboats on the underside of the ship, future expansion at the back. What's that? A canopy? Cargo loading doors. Okay, kind of wonder what they were there for. All right, so they are cargo bays then. We never really saw that. The antimatter storage on deck 40. Go back to 41. Antimatter again, and then right at the very bottom, Generator tractor beam right at the back end. Well, underneath. Yeah. But the thing is, is this is all the key to everything. So all those little things. What is that meant to be then? Should we find that? I think I probably missed it. It's Type six and Type fifteen shuttles that they have. Can I see what that is? That's a. It's an oval with a dot. And a oval there. I think it's on the page. No. Although they're probably in on something. But yeah, you can tell the types of rooms, all the type, different types of room there. It's like on a cruise ship. You've got different classes of, of cabin, and you've got selected internal spaces, different types of you know, your lounge, your barber shop, Mr. Mott's, yeah, VIP quarters, a lot bigger than diplomatic. Although science is exactly the same, cultural. Yeah, absolutely ridiculous detail on this. 
I do recommend that there are there are quite a few floating around eBay at the moment. I do recommend getting one while you can. Well, there it is. Auto destruct charge. What? <laughs> what? So, um, uh, that is an auto destruct. Charge small, charge large. So it's got the line through. They're both the same picture anyway. Okay, so every deck's got a bomb on it. That hasn't. <laughs> Find the bomb. Find the bomb. 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 Mm. Well, happy flying with the Enterprise D. You, um, if you're in this cabin here, lovely. Got lovely views of the bottom, and you're next to a bomb. Cool. Very, very cool. So that is this little box. And get one. Honestly, get one. You'll have a laugh as much as I've just have. Because that's really good. Find the dolphins, find cetacean observation sort of thing. I'm sure the people at um, at Trek Culture will appreciate that. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Please follow me on social media. Put a message below. Say hello. Tell me tell me what, what you're doing today. And maybe consider being a Patreon, help out the channel, consider a donation, whatever, anything, we're fine with. And... I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.